Okay, so this is how you do the loading zone glitch on Ani Base, which can get a wraith out of the map or give you some pretty crazy launches through the barrier. Basically, what you need to do is have one player stand where the first Warthog gets dropped off, then have another player proceed through the rest of the map and kill all the enemies and then activate all the switches. Once you've done that, have the person in the wraith drive on a slanted area or rock or whatever it is, basically anything that's slanted. That way they're slightly moving even though you're not using your controller. And once you've done that, get another checkpoint and have the other player walk towards the area where there's a switch to activate that slanted door where it opens. And what this will do is it'll activate a loading zone and most of the time it'll just force you to spawn with a vehicle back where the other player is at the loading zone. But if you keep on messing around with it and fooling around, eventually you'll get launched out of the map. But not completely because there's still like a sky barrier or whatever. So if you want to get a vehicle out of the map like I did with the Wraith, you have to get out of the vehicle right before you activate the switch. That way you'll get loaded out and then the vehicle will still go flying. So like I did with the Wraith. Also realize that once you get the Wraith out of the map, you can um, go on the so-called stairway to heaven on the far right side. So that's pretty cool. And what I also realize is you can get these pretty crazy launches through the barrier just by getting out at the right time. It'll send you straight through the sky barrier and you'll just keep on flying. It's pretty crazy. Probably the highest launches I've seen on this map. So. And at first I thought that I was just getting clipped through the barrier at the right time. But after this right here. I realized that the launches were just so hardcore that it actually just forces you past the barrier anyways, so it's pretty cool. If you watch it in slow-mo, you can definitely tell that that's what's going on. See, right, right there, I stopped for a second, and that's not me messing around with theater or anything. That's actually just me slowing down from the barrier or just stopping for a second and then getting forced past it anyways. That's why this launch doesn't go as high as the other one, because I had to get forced through the barrier, so... Um, this is how you do it though, so thanks for watching.